Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at AWS Reinvent and look who I have with me. Camden, you're back on the show. I'm so excited to chat exactly a year ago. Yep. I guess we met and we spoke about so many different things that you and team have been building at New Relic. Uh, I'm kind of curious to obviously learn about what things have changed over the last one year. I know uh, with New Relic now that happened earlier uh, this year, there were massive announcements that were made. Uh, but I'm also curious to learn from you what changed, how have you seen the space evolving, and then we'll also get into what's happening at AWS. Sure, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, over the last year, right? I mean, I think last year when we met, we were talking about sort of the, the promise or vision uh, for agentic AI, yep. right? Over the last year, though, we've seen kind of a realization of that on a variety of fronts, both in terms of our customers taking their own uh, agents that they've built in-house uh, to production, right? Right. Uh, and the need for observability of those agents, what they're doing, how they're communicating with one another, how they're using MCP. Um, but we've also seen a lot uh, more concrete results from the use of agentic AI to resolve you know, incident management, incident response, SRE, observability type use cases. So really we've turned a corner, I think, over the last year from what kind of what could be to what is actually happening. Actually now. happening, that's right. Uh, these are fantastic insights. Uh, and also since we are here at AWS reInvent, the talk of the town is agent AI. Uh, and I know for a fact where developers, enterprise leaders are excited about it, but then there's obviously a lot of curiosity as well. From your standpoint, or from your perspective, because you talk to a lot of customers, you talk to a lot of, uh, obviously, community, uh, what are what are the things uh, that were obviously announced, and how does it connect the dots with New Relic? Sure, yeah. I mean, I think for many of our enterprise customers, there's, there's kind of two major areas of, of like unsolved problems, right? Mm -hmm. One is, you know, these agents are only going to be as good as the context that they can sort of access live, right? So true. And many of our customers are still using a variety of platforms across their tool chain to solve problems. You know, their observability platform, their incident management platform, uh, you know, uh, platforms that their engineers use uh, to do, do things like uh, you know like, uh, automated code generation and that sort of thing. Right. And so what we've really seen is like a a, a, a big embrace of MCP model context protocol for helping these agents get access to that. And so one of the announcements that we have uh, uh, this year at reInvent is the uh, integration of our MCP server with AWS's DevOps uh, agents and other agents, so that people using these AWS agents to resolve problems, solve incidents, generate code, can actually go and get context from production to the current state of you know, the, the applications running uh, for their customers and, and bring that back in to make more informed decisions, right? I think the nice. other uh, major area of unsolved problems, right, where we've got uh, uh, you know, uh, some good announcements is, uh, how do you kind of observe these agents and how are they- Very important. Right, how, yep. how are these agents behaving? How are they using MCP? How are they communicating with one another? And, and how are they going to kind of keep tabs on all of that as they're taking these things to production? Which is, of course, is a very it's a sweet spot for New Relic, right? Because that's kind of our bread and butter. So, yes, yeah. I love it. Uh, you mentioned about a very important point, which is about how do we keep a tap on these agents? Because now agents are talking to agents. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that there's no data leakage, there's no uh, access issue there as well. We are very much governing it as well. Uh, I'm kind of also curious to know what's the security piece that kind of plays into this. Uh, I know you all have made some announcements today yeah. around the security as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Though. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, the Security RX agent that we, we announced today. Um, so this is an AI agent that New Relic has developed that will actually find uh, security vulnerabilities in runtime, right? Not not in the in, in the dev environments, but actually happening in runtime, and then automate the process of remediating them, or, or you know, updating the package, or whatever it is it's going to take to resolve that security vulnerability, right? This is a huge time suck for engineers traditionally, right? That's something right. they don't like doing, uh, and something that takes a lot of time to resolve. And and this agent kind of automates a lot of that and helps protect you know our customers' customers from being exposed to these vulnerabilities that are actually on production itself. So that's a big part of it, uh, you know, uh, at least from our perspective, how agentic AI can go into saving engineers and ops teams a lot of a lot of time in terms of managing and protecting their production environment. That's awesome. Uh, also looking ahead, what do you think? Uh, do you have any advice for those leaders who are, you know, wanting to get into the agentic space and also uh, wanting to, you know, obviously implement new relic into their systems? What would be your advice and uh, how do you see the space evolving in say maybe next six to 12 months? Sure, good question. 
I mean, I think my advice would be first, you know, don't don't treat observability of the of these agents as a, as a secondary concern, right? I think there's a lot of security, legal, compliance, regulatory, uh, you know, developments that are going to be coming over the next year, both right. in the in the in the U.S. and across the, the globe and in the in, in, in EU. And so, being able to actually really trace end to end exactly what your agents are doing, what context they're accessing, how they're communicating with one another, will just be fundamentally essential. Um, and so, making sure that you're choosing the right kind of full stack monitoring solution that's going to help you keep tabs, not only in terms of what your agent is doing, but how it's using or how it's running on infrastructure, the exactly. services that it's accessing is, is going to be really key. So that's a big one. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then I think, you know, the other thing is I think we're going to see a lot of really exciting things around the frameworks, frameworks. that are being True. used, you know, your lane graphs, your auto gens, whatever it may be, you know, things coming out of, of bedrock. bedrock. Uh, and right. I think the, the agentic frameworks and the capabilities that you'll be able to get just by using one of those frameworks kind of off the shelf will be will be really key. And New Relic will have some pretty exciting announcements along those lines as well over the next few months. I won't get into that now, but but uh, you know, by, by February, I think yes, we'll have some I know New Relic now is just around the corner yes. as well. So we're waiting for that. But these are fantastic insights, and thanks for sharing all the details with us today. Camden will get the uh, we'll keep the conversation going, and uh, obviously I'll also be talking to Jema about you know uh, all the developer audience and how they've been using New Relic. So excited about that as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Thank Thanks you so for much. doing this. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.